In this simulation, we have a colorimeter, some variable volume micropipettes, some test tubes, some samples to work with, and two cuvettes for the colorimeter. Each of your experiments today will begin the same way, by calibrating your colorimeter. To calibrate your colorimeter, use water to fill a cuvette by clicking on it, and then clicking the cuvette to add it to the colorimeter. You can then close the lid and click the Cal button. Once calibration is complete, the cuvette is removed automatically. Next, you can retrieve exactly 4.5 milliliters of crystal violet by first setting that volume on your variable volume micropipette. After setting the volume, you can click the pipette again to draw up your crystal violet sample, and then another click will dispense the sample into one of your test tubes. In part A, click on the bottle of sodium hydroxide to transfer some to the second test tube. To draw up some sodium hydroxide, we can first set the volume of our second pipette to the required 0.5 milliliter volume. Then, subsequent clicking will allow us to draw up the sodium hydroxide and add it to the crystal violet to start the reaction. Clicking on the test tube will shake these reagents to properly mix them. Now we can click on the test tube to transfer our reacting sample to a clean cuvette and then move the cuvette to the colorimeter by clicking on it. After closing the lid, click Start Recording to record your absorbance measurements every 5 seconds. When you've collected enough data, you can export it using the Export Data button and open it in any spreadsheet program. For part B, after calibrating your colorimeter and adding crystal violet to the first test tube, as you did in part A, you can click on the second pipette to set the new volume to 2.0 milliliters. Then you can click on the pipette to draw up sodium hydroxide and subsequently add it to the second test tube. Click the pipette again to draw up water and add it to the sodium hydroxide. Click the test tube to properly mix these reagents. Click the pipette again and reset its volume to 0.5 milliliters. Now you may draw up the sodium hydroxide mixture and add it to the first test tube to begin the reaction. Proceeding as you did before, click the test tube to shake it and click again to transfer the sample to a clean cuvette. Transfer your cuvette to the colorimeter and close the lid before clicking the Start Recording button to begin collecting data. Again, when you are satisfied that you have collected enough data, you may stop and export the data for later analysis. Finally, in Part C, after calibrating the colorimeter and drawing up crystal violet, click the second pipette and set its volume to 0.5 milliliters. Then, use this pipette to draw up sodium hydroxide and add it to the second test tube. In this experiment, you'll be exploring the effects of temperature on kinetics, so set the water bath to your desired temperature. Then you can transfer the test tube rack to the bath by clicking on it. After about 15 seconds, you can use the red pipette again to transfer your sodium hydroxide sample to the first test tube. Again, click on it to properly mix the reagents by shaking, and then add the sample to the cuvette and close the lid. Begin collecting data, and when you are finished, export your data to perform any further analysis. You can click the Restart button at the bottom left of your screen to perform any additional trials at other temperatures.